everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Maitland Gardener. And today we are tackling the tower garden. Yep. I kind of got ahead of myself. I got excited cleaning up for the fall and realized, oh, I should make this video. So basically, uh, the tower garden, you can see it's got roots growing through it. I had, what did we have, like 15 tomatoes? Like 16, something like that. We just harvested all of them because we've got 27 in the forecast. And now it's just time to basically undo the whole thing, clean out all the old roots, give everything a scrub, and then we will seed the entire tower with cool season veggies. I've got a couple different types of lettuce and mm -hmm. some broccoli that we'll direct sow into the rock wool cubes that go into these little baskets. So we're just gonna take this opportunity now while we have some daylight get it all emptied and cleaned out and probably plant tomorrow. Okay. Right? All right. Stay tuned for our progress. So we've actually decided to take the upper elements and put them in the dishwasher so it'd be really easy to get them clean. And you know, David was just saying, for the money, this is one of the best investments that we've ever made. We've been growing in this now, I think going on eight years. We keep it planted year round um, and it's super productive. So if you're like looking to downsize or you know, living somewhere where you don't have a lot of outdoor space, this, the tower garden and the live wall, both of them are a bit of an investment, but they are worth it because they work and you can grow in them year round with very little maintenance, very little care, and the productivity is really off the charts. So I have to say like, I garden traditionally on a massive scale, you know, considering I live in the suburbs, but these two vertical systems that I grow in are hands down the most productive and the easiest to maintain. And I don't say that lightly. So, um, don't get scared of the price point because you'll more than pay for yourself uh, just by growing in it for one season and not having to buy that stuff from the grocery store. It's pretty remarkable how quickly the tower will pay for itself. So I am going to just plan to put this all back together tomorrow, fresh day, more sunlight, and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to sow some of your favorite cool season vegetables that will grow in this aeroponic system during the cool season. All right, we're back at it, getting the tower garden replanted. Aiden is soaking the rock wool cubes. And we actually ordered these and we had gotten in some new baskets, which are bright and shiny, uh, directly from towergarden.com. I'll put a link in the description. And now basically you can put them into a basket and then we'll get seed dropped in. All right, so Aiden's got rock wool in each one and now this process almost hurts your brain. It's so easy. I'm going to do probably, what do you think, 12 mm -hmm. in broccoli? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna aim to just get one seed, maybe two seeds into the center of 12 rock wools. And yeah, this process is a little bit excruciating in that it's detail oriented, but it's incredible how well they germinate. All right, the whole tower is put back together and each little rock wool is direct seeded. Did a couple different types of lettuce and two rows of broccoli. Now we're just gonna get some nutrient solution, add it to the water that's already in the bottom here. And I've got the timer already plugged back in. And just to clarify, the timer is not your average timer. You can buy these from towergarden.com and it comes on for 15 minutes and off for 15 minutes and it does that cycle 24 hours a day 
that's essentially what makes it aeroponics instead of hydroponics the water isn't running con continuously it's on and off on that 15 minute cycle all right that was pretty easy right yes, it was thank you aiden is an expert at <laughs> this you've been doing it for most of your life for a long time yes, yes. and we know from experience that everything will germinate it will and everything will grow and we'll be harvesting salads from it mm. So it's totally a worthy endeavor. If you have any interest in growing in water, this is the easiest system. Mm. And yeah, we've had it outside year round. Oh yeah. I think going on seven years, I think seven so or too. eight years. I think so, too. Um, so definitely, I think we've, we've gotten more enjoyment yes. than the cost. Yes. So, you know, it's worth it. Yep. All right, everybody. I hope you'll be inspired and consider investing in a tower garden and if you found this video to be helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to the Breathe the Plant Lady YouTube channel for more practical gardening advice right here from Zone 7, Central North Carolina. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.